What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com back with another SketchUp new extension tutorial for you. So in today's video we're going to check out a brand new extension from the guys that gave us Transmuter and Scatter that gives us access to a marketplace of render ready models. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. Yesterday the developer of Scatter and Transmuter announced a brand new extension called 3D Bazaar. And so basically what 3D Bazaar is, is it's a SketchUp model marketplace um, of render ready SketchUp models. And so basically what this is, is this is a repository of different models that are supposed to look good when they're rendering. And if you've ever tried to find render ready models, especially like plants, you know how frustrating that could be. So I'm actually really excited to see a marketplace targeted towards this inside of SketchUp. And so the cool thing about these is these come in um, either as proxies or regular geometry. Um, the proxies are currently set up for V-Ray, Theorender, or Inkscape. Um, and literally just bring them in. So um, downloading the extension is really easy. So you can just go to this page, which I will link to in the notes down below, and click on the button for download the extension. That's just gonna download a Ruby file that you can install using the extension manager. Um, this also gives you the ability to manage your local assets. So let's take a look at it and see what it can do. So again, um, to install it, you can just go to Window, extension manager and then just install that Ruby file that gets downloaded and so that's gonna pop up a little window that looks something like this and so if you click on this what that's gonna do is that's gonna pop up a marketplace window so that's gonna give you access to a model marketplace over here and so a few things about this so first off some of these are paid some of these are free so this is definitely targeted towards giving you a way to access those higher quality assets. It's not necessarily there to be a free model library, though there are options in here for free models. And so if you look at this, you can see how you have categories right now for food, furniture and equipment, people, and then plants. And rocks and I'm sure this is gonna grow in the future but this is what's in here for right now and so when you look at these you can sort these based on for example these have categories so you can see the categories either over here or over here and you can also search by price you can check this box right here to find the free assets that are in here and you can also search by render engine so for example if you use Enscape you can check this box so that you only see the models that will work inside of Enscape and so let's go ahead and let's check the free box right here alright so let's say for example we wanted to download this white oak model and I've already done this because it's a larger file size and I don't want to wait for that in the future but let's go to one that I haven't purchased yet um, or downloaded yet. So if you click on this one right here, notice how there's options in here to bring in the high poly geometry or the proxy geometry. And there's little icons in here that show you what programs this is going to work with. You can also set the location in this little box right here. But I've already done that with this tree, so let's take a look at it. So if I click in here, Notice how there's multiple different files in here. Um, so it downloaded the full geometry as well as the proxy files. So if I click on this and click on import like this, I'm gonna move my mouse over here. Then I click, notice what that's doing is that's bringing in this proxy file. So what that proxy file is, is this is placeholder geometry inside of SketchUp that'll get loaded in as full geometry in your rendering engine. So for example, I've got Enscape up and running. So if I click on the play button for start Enscape, what that's going to do is that's going to load this geometry in from that proxy model. All right, so you can see inside of Enscape, we've got our detailed 3D geometry in here, right? So it's a really good looking tree model. But if we were to jump back to SketchUp, you can see how inside of SketchUp, there's only this one tree right here. And let's say that I was to make some copies of it. So just real quick, we'll just make a couple copies. And then go back into Enscape. You can see how all of those trees get loaded in. So what you can do is you can use this to populate your scene inside of SketchUp without having to really slow it down with all of that extra geometry. And so notice how the full geometry is in here as well. So if I go to Window, Model Info, 
When we look at this, we currently have 4,900 edges and 1,500 faces. But if we were to drop the full geometry in here, so if I click to import that, First off, you can see how it takes a while in order to do that, right? Notice how my SketchUp is spinning right now. All right, so now I have that tree inside of my model. So the first thing I need to go do is turn off profiles so that this is going to be a little bit faster. But notice how this is a really heavy model, right? So now if I click in here, I've got something like, I've got something like 800,000 edges and 430,000 faces. Like it's just too much geometry for SketchUp to really work with, which is why we use the proxies. So you can see how this is a very detailed model, but you really don't want to bring that full geometry in here if you can avoid it, just because of how slow it's going to make everything. So one other thing to note is this also has an option down here for local. And so what local is going to do is that's going to give you access to your local library. So for example, you can click in here and you can add different folders that are already on your computer. So for example, if I look in my chairs folder and I click on select folder, that's going to give me access to this folder inside of the 3D Bazaar right here. But I can also click and add these really quickly into my SketchUp model. So you can use this not only as a library online or a marketplace online, but you can also use this to manage your 3D model library as well. So that's another great perk of this extension. So downloading this extension and installing it is free. So some of the models will be paid as well. But you can use this in order to manage your local models as well as accessing models inside of the marketplace. So overall, I think this is a really good idea. I think the 3D warehouse is good for some things, but it's really not curated content and it's definitely not there for render ready content. So having a marketplace where you can actually download that render ready stuff, I think is gonna be a really good thing. But leave a comment down below and let me know what you thought. Uh, if you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, so make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.